Hi guys, welcome to this thrift haul. I know I haven't done one in a few months. We had our annual garage sale last May 18 and 19, but before that I was able to go thrifting. I went to the Araneta Center thrift shop. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's something like Fashion Delight. Um, I know there are three branches just scattered um, along the area. If you're familiar with Araneta Center, it's really close to Shakey's. So there's one like two stores away from Shakey's and then there's another one just a little down the road. It was my first time there. Um, I wasn't really planning on going there, but we had something to do around the area and we just felt like um, walking to the store and checking it out. It's actually one of the more pricey thrift shops I've been to. I generally prefer 50 pesos, 90 pesos, but I was there anyway and it was a really, really big store and we had around two hours to spare, so I just went for it. I ended up with a lot of stuff because actually the things inside were really, really good. Lots of real vintage items, you could tell by the tags. Um, I think the only difficulty I had was going through the racks because it was similar to the thrift shops I went to in Baguio. Everything's just really packed tightly together, so you need some muscle to push um, the hangers and the clothes. Before I show you the stuff, I just want to apologize because of the the whirring sound of the electric fans. It's extra, extra hot today, and I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this video if I don't have the fans on. So one of the first things I spotted when I went inside was this animal print shirt. This is in a silk material and if you've been watching my video since the very start, you know I always tend to pick up an animal print. I was never really like that but since I started learning how to match these things with my other clothes, I've just always always made a beeline for any animal print I see. Um, I also have a video called how I would wear leopard prints from the Ukai Ukai, um, which I'm going to link somewhere here. But that's going to be really helpful if you're trying to figure out how to wear animal prints or if you're in search of like newer ways you could possibly wear an animal print. And this one I'm just going to wear like all the others. Um, they're so easy to pair with just basics like jeans or trousers or shorts. You can dress them up or dress them down. Um, just really versatile pieces to have. The next thing I found was this jacket. I mentioned in one of my videos before that I really wanted a white um, denim jacket. I always borrow my brother's pen shop jacket. It's oversized, but the denim is quite thin and I, I was in search of a vintage white denim jacket, but I didn't find any. So I settled for this one. It's not a cotton jacket, it's made from linen, so it's going to be very wrinkly, but the good part about having a linen item or a linen jacket is that it's not going to be too hot. It's a very breathable natural fabric, so you just have to live with the wrinkles. I love this because it's not stark white, it's a nice natural, almost cheesecloth looking material and it fits me just right. The buttons are silver. Um, I would prefer them a little more tarnished, so I guess the more use um, I get out of this, I, I hope the buttons become a little dirtier. So this top um, isn't really a style I normally go for, but I spotted it from afar because I felt like the fabric was of good quality. I think if you go ukay ukaying long enough, you're gonna train yourself to distinguish kind of better quality materials and when I picked it out I was pleasantly surprised because it has this kind of um, asymmetrical detail down here it's not just a straight um, button down shirt I, I really like this kind of fabric because it's not going to wrinkle so much I think with this kind of cut you can really show off high-waisted trousers in let's say a white or cream color um, I could also wear this with brown pants. It's way longer down here than in front, and it also has these weird ties. Um, I'm not really sure what they're for because when you wear this, 
um, these things aren't really visible, so I, I don't know, maybe when I do the try-on, I'm gonna figure it out eventually. I can't count how many times I've said that I need to stop buying white things, white frilly things, white long sleeve things. I sold a lot of white tops during our garage sale, but I still do have an, a good number, and when I saw this one, I just wanted... <laughs> I really wanted another one. Um, I, I feel like I need to have a lot of white things because I get them dirty so easily. I'm so scared of getting them dirty, so they just end up there in a pile until I use them to shoot someone else. But I really like the fabric of this one. It's it's almost again like a cheesecloth. It's really breathable. I like the cut of this. It's not like any of my other white or cream tops. It's longer down the front, so this is going to be easy to tie around my waist. It's also really lightweight and I like how it creases, so this would be perfect for this kind of weather, really really hot and really sticky. Um, this is, for lack of other words, very presco. I think I'm really just eating my words because here is yet another white frilly lacy long sleeve top. I just can't help it. I really like how they look even though I don't necessarily wear them all the time. They're really good for photo shoots so I always have an excuse to buy these things. This one in particular is almost like a um, lace top although it's a stretchy material and um, there are a lot of uh, holes. It's quite see-through so it would be best to wear something underneath. It would be really nice to pair this with just jeans or even shorts. Um, anything denim would really dress this down and give it a more prairie country girl feel and if you had boots that would be great. You could also wear it with some natural fiber sandals or some leather sandals. Many ways to wear this. Oh and you could like put a brooch here. That would be so cool. It would be very like Gone with the Wind, almost Victorian era um, inspired. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play with this. This is another top that I found. I really love these colors, just very warm and almost a retro kind of floral print. This is actually a smaller floral print, but I love the, the colors. I love the combination of the colors. I am wearing it now with corduroy pants. It also has a tie if you want to gather the sleeves or the wrists up. So you just pull these and you can like knot it so that it doesn't go loose. I could also wear this with dark purple pants or tan trousers black trousers, um, anything really because it has so many colors it's going to be so easy to pair with a lot of bottoms. Moving on to the short sleeve tops, I only have two. So this is the first one. I love this. It's very, I don't know, it feels very nostalgic. I feel like this is something I would have worn back in the 90s. It's in a material that doesn't wrinkle. I always go for those fabrics because they're easier to maintain and they're great to bring when traveling because you don't need to worry about bringing a steamer or an iron. I think peaches and corals go well with my skin tone. Sometimes I'm a little more warm toned, so this is going to complement my skin really well. And the last short sleeve top that I got, and this is just a color explosion. This is vintage, I'm sure, because the buttons are just so intricate. They're so detailed and even the tag looks old. I love this fabric. It's, it's like all the others. It, it won't really wrinkle. You can roll it up as tight as you want and it's just gonna fall down really nicely. It has fake um, chest pockets, so that's just for detail. But I think I always go for colorful things because you can wear them many ways. So take this top for example. It has, I don't know how many colors on it, but you can pair it with anything purple or pink or green or blue or white or black. You can wear it under blazers or jackets. You can tie this over a plain dress. Um, yeah, I just, I just really love my colorful boxy tops. So I only have one dress, but it's a dress that 
I really love the colors of. It's in this retro print and even the colors are just really the kinds of colors I love. It's a, just a flat kind of green with tangerine and white and yellow and purple. So I'm probably going to wear this with a white turtleneck underneath, like a long sleeve turtleneck or maybe um, a white button up so the collar is going to peek through. With the turtleneck, it's going to look very Brady Bunch, which I love. Maybe I can wear that when I'm abroad in cooler weather, but here in Manila, I'm most likely going to wear this with a white button-down shirt and maybe platform sandals or sneakers just to dress it down. I'm so in love with the color. If I had an extra room in the house, I would make it kind of like this. Or maybe all four walls would have different retro prints on it, but let's not go there yet. So moving on to the pants. Now, the pants there were kind of pricey, especially the jeans. The jeans there are really up in price point, but you do find a lot of good brands. I found a lot of Ralph Lauren pants. There were lots of Levi's. I saw a few tough Jeansmith pants, also Wrangler Lee, just good solid denim brands. And the only Levi's I picked up was this pair. So I found this in the men's section, so I paid 429 for it, I think. I hope I remember the price correctly, but it, it was over 400 pesos. And this is a Levi's model 517 with a waist 29 and length 30. But older jeans are sized differently from today's jeans. So if you go to the Ukai and find a vintage pair of jeans that are a size 29, just try them on because they're most likely a 27 in modern measurements. Another pair of jeans I was delighted to find. I don't even know the brand. It's just deluxe denim made in Korea. But I am not really one to focus on brands. If I like the quality of the material and the construction, then I'm most likely going to get it. So this is a cream colored pair with mustard stitching. It's not really a yellow, it's almost like a, like a yellowish brown. So it's utilitarian in a way. I love the design, it's wide-legged and the rise is really high so that's always something i look for and this one falls just a little under my rib cage so it's really the perfect rise for me now to our last two items and they're both pants this is a pair by tomori chisato i have a bag and another pair of jeans from this label or this designer this is in a really really nice more dressed up fabric it's it's like a cross grain when you look at it up close it has pockets it's tailored really really well like very secure seams it's a size one so i knew that was gonna fit me also by looking at it like I, I know that's going to fit me. That's another tip when you go to the Upe. Kind of familiarize yourself with the sizes of your clothes just by sight so that if you don't have time to try things on, you have a better chance that your clothes are going to fit. It's also a cropped length, so I won't need to get this altered because it's already the right length for me. And the last pair of trousers I have are from... Where is this from? From Creme. Paris, I guess that's how you pronounce it, creme, creme Paris, it's a size 2, it's, what is it made of, hmm. no, nope, can't really read it, but it's, the fabric is from France, the material is nice and heavy, it's something you could wear for a more businessy type event or, um, or a meeting maybe, I love the color. It's just a black with light blue lines all over in a check pattern. I would wear this with a black top or a white button down and a blazer, but I could definitely dress this down with a t-shirt tucked in and white sneakers. So those were all my thrift finds from my first trip to Araneta Center. 
I might make this a three-part video because since that first trip, I've already gone back twice because I really, really love the items and the, the assortment of brands that I found. So stay tuned for that. I also found a few more blazers during this particular trip, but since the burn months are just a few months away, I'm going to put all my blazers and jackets together into one video and maybe show you how I would wear them. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would really love it if you did and also click the notification bell so you get alerted every time I post a new video. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.